Hey guys, on today's video we're going to be buying some phones from Kudo. So it doesn't really matter which phone you guys are getting, it's the exact same process, whether it's an iPhone, Android, or anything. Alright, so let's just go right into shop, then we're going to select phones. So it's obviously better if you guys have logged in already, but if you haven't, no big deal. We can log in once you guys select which phone you guys want. So let's say we want an iPhone. So let's just select Apple for now. So what I always suggest doing is checking prices over time. I've seen them go up and down. So usually once Black Friday comes up or any special occasions, that's when prices drop on phones. Although there's no big announcement for Kudo, maybe they announce other things. Usually they drop the prices on some phones. So for example, right now if I click on iPhone 8, I'm going to see it for around $360 where before it was at 400 and something. Now what you guys see as your second option, click right there. Don't listen to this, all right? You guys do not need to buy it this way. Only right now, if you guys are in a tab small plan, as you can see, this doesn't let you, it doesn't have an option for tab small, so you wouldn't be able to buy it. And I'm gonna select iPhone XR, for example. Now it's saying that you save 200 bucks. Sometimes it's a lot more than that. So let's take a look at it. So if I scroll down, I can see the prices with the iPhone XR. Now here it's available for a lot of them. So it's available for your tab large, tab medium, tab small. Regardless which tab you guys have, which that would be it. That would be all the tabs you guys could select. So there's no real reason to pay the 820 bucks that it goes for. And that's actually true. So if you guys go to Apple, you will see that price. However, what you guys see up here where it says 480, that's your total price. Even if you guys are on a tap medium, for example, it tells you that you pay right now just 120 and that the rest 360 later on in your tab, it still does equal to a total amount or 480. Okay, so your total will always equal the same. It's just your tap amounts and your upfront money that changes. So for example, on tap small, I'm gonna pay right now upfront $240. However, the rest, the 240 remaining will go on my tab. I'm gonna pay those $10 monthly for 24 months. Okay, and you are allowed to, from what I know so far, is after your third month to pay it all off. So if you guys don't wanna keep paying it little by little, go ahead, pay it all off. Now for those of you who are thinking about an iPhone, you guys can get protection, not from here, but you guys can add Apple Care directly from Apple once you guys purchase this iPhone. You don't have to purchase it directly from Kudo, you guys can go to Apple once you register it and get it from there, your Apple Care Plus, if you're thinking about extra protection. Up here, we can select the color. So right now there's only black and red available. So I'm gonna take off the red. This is product red. We're just gonna go back to product. There we go, the black one. So let's say we want black one, we can stay there. There is only storage, 64 gig, that's it. There, They don't have any other ones for this one. Okay, some other ones they do give you choices, but usually from what I've seen, they always stay at one type of storage. 64 gigs, I would say is just about enough for an iPhone XR especially, so that should be okay. So we're gonna go ahead and complete our purchase. So let's say we want this phone. And like I told you guys, even if you guys are on a tab small, it's gonna cost you the same thing as any other tab. It's just your upfront money that's gonna be a little bit more. Let's just go into Add to Cart. So it's being added to our cart and the next page that we should see is this popping up. Okay, so it's gonna tell you. And this can get a little bit confusing because it tells you retail price, your phone credit, um, this might pop up. So we're just gonna close this. It's just telling you that yes, since you guys are purchasing online, they're not gonna charge you those 35. And you guys can read that right here. So right now it's telling you that do right now, it's 240. The rest 240 will be on your tab. It's not that clear right here. I don't like that about this, but that's the way it is. So down here below, you will see, thank you, keep my current plan. That's underneath change plan. And they make that really small because they want you to change plan. They want more money, but <laughs> just keep your current plan. And we're just gonna click right there. Your next page will be to confirm. This will tell you to pay your tab balance. If you guys have any tab balance, so let's say you guys bought a phone just a few months ago, a week ago even, you can pay off your tab balance right now before you go on to your next purchase. So that's in my case. So we're just gonna pay tab balance right now, which is on my right hand side on the bottom, you will see that. Now it's gonna ask you for your correct shipping address. 
Now this is very important to make sure it's correct or change my address, okay? So for most of you, it's gonna be okay. So go ahead and put yeep, looks good. So you do have to put a check mark on both and then it's gonna let you put, let's do this. So you have to put a check mark on both. So here we go. It tells you to pay off your tab. It cannot be reversed, obviously. And we can just confirm. That's just because I had a tab from before. So I have to pay that off, by the way, before I can proceed. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to check out. Confirm your orders. Right now it's just loading up. Then we're gonna get another page. So at this point, in order to complete your order right now, we just need to confirm that that's your information. So we're gonna put a check mark right there. So that's down here below. Just put a check mark and then go to next. And right now we finally have our payment options. So we can select our type of credit card that we're gonna use. So in this case, MasterCard. Then we're gonna fill up our name, credit card number, expire date, CVV, and then we're just gonna hit submit. Once you hit submit, just scroll down. You will see your shipping address on the top, whether you guys want to keep that, yes, go ahead. Scroll down and just make sure everything's okay here. Again, this can be a little confusing, but you guys should be okay with this. Um, and we can go ahead and scroll a little bit more down. We're gonna accept these terms. And finally, place our order, which is down here below again. And finally, we are done. This is the very last step that you guys need to do. You're finished. It's gonna say, thank you for ordering. Done. You have your order number, so make sure to keep that order number just in case. I'll take a screenshot, whatever you guys want, in order for you guys to keep that order number that's really important, just in case the email doesn't come to you because you will get an email telling you exactly this information. But just in case, take a screenshot. Anyways, that would be it for this video. You guys have done it. That's all you guys needed to do. We are done. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.